Pollinating tomato flowers. Easy, right? Well, that's what I thought, but nope, that's uh, it's not quite so. Let me get into that pollinating thing a little bit here. So earlier in the summer, I was uh, hand pollinating with my toothbrush and got uh, some pretty good uh, pollinated uh, flowers. But then as uh, I stopped doing that, stopped pollinating them, things kind of thinned out a little bit. Uh, the grafted brandy wines uh, did great when I was pollinating them, but then uh, when I stopped pollinating them, uh, they, they weren't setting any uh, fruit. Problem is, uh, we just don't have any bees. This is the worst year uh, for bees that we've ever had. Uh, they say 96% uh, down this year here in Oregon. So what the deal is uh, with the uh, tomato flowers is you need the bumblebees uh, and bees that pollinate uh, the tomato flowers well, um, they vibrate. Uh, they don't just, they can't get the pollen, they can't collect it. Uh, it in a tomato flower, the pollen on the male part is in a tube. It's not stuck on like in uh, flowers or other uh, uh, type of blossoms, okay? It's in a tube. And so uh, the bees that pollinate it well vibrate at 128 hertz. I know, sounds kind of crazy, huh? Uh, and then it releases the pollen uh, out of this tube. So what I've done uh, in the past, here, let me take you over and show you. Okay, so in the past years, I've had great success with this homemade toothbrush with a dowel. It served me really well. I thought it was doing a great job. Uh, the battery went dead with it. And then this toothbrush did well. Um, not quite as good as this. I guess now that I know it's a vibration thing, um, this did uh, really super. This type does poorly because you need to uh, touch the stem with this end piece, either the back or this round area here. So I found out that the most effective way is a tuning fork, 128 hertz tuning fork. It says it right on there. They're relatively inexpensive, 10 bucks. You just uh, tap it and vibrate it and you it's amazing the amount of pollen that comes out of a, a flower when you see it done with this. Um, okay, some of you may be wondering why I cut all of the lower branches off the, the tomato plants, especially since they were all green and not uh, uh, disease-ridden, uh, dried up. Well, they're not needed anymore. And the only thing they do is suck fluid that should be going to the tomatoes and uh, it's uh, evaporation through the leaves that uh, requires the plants to need more water. So that's how I get two pound tomatoes. I cut the leaves off once the tomatoes are established and then they, uh, they just keep growing because the leaves, the branches down below the tomato clusters aren't evaporating all the water. So, those over there aren't going to get much bigger. I'm just waiting for them to get red, but um, that's why I cut them off. Okay, later.